1991. Yeah. The dredge, the resolution. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how old were you when you first went to school? I have to tell you that. <laughs> no, you don't have to. I'll put in what you were 90, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> 90. <laughs> No, it was 45 yeah, when I first went away. Yeah, mm. and we've worked out, she was a dredge and that. Yeah, and, dredge. Uh, I think roughly on the dredge there was probably about 28, 20 or something like that in the crew, 30, I think. 32, 32 was like it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. now, Laurie, what made you choose going to sea as a career? Well, well I, I knew of seamen for a long time by working in seamen's hotels and things like and that. And pray tell, what was one of the seamen's hotels you used to work in? The Pray Tell, the Star Hotel. The star, the, not the infamous Star. <laughs> the star I don't know where I ever frequented that den of iniquity. <laughs> yeah, and, and just different seamen had said to me, you included, yeah. um, said, you know, that I'd be good at sea because I had the temperament, the right mm. temperament. And, and it was a pommy guy, and I wish I could remember his name. Oh, he actually talked me into it. Yeah. You know? Not Pat, um, Pat, um, little, little pommy Pat. No, no. No, it wasn't him. No, no. no. Yeah, right. Um, no, he, he, he practically talked me into it. And yeah. then after the star closed and I just went from mm. one job to the other and, and nothing sort of settled, you know? Yeah. And, and um, I thought to myself, well, bugger, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to sea. Yeah. So I went up, I seen Laurie Steen, and he said to me, you've got to go and do a course at the Tech College, yeah. um, which I did. When I yeah. went back to him, he said, well, I'm proud of you. He said, because there's so much rigmarole with the yeah. whole thing. He said, I didn't think you'd be bothered doing it. Yeah. So I did, I got my certificate and everything like that and went back to him. Then I had trouble because Canberra, didn't want to put me away. Yeah. And I only got away because of Laurie Steen and his persistence. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he'd and get in touch with them and I'd be sitting in the office with him when he'd get in touch with them. Yeah. And they say, tell him it'd be right. So then I'd shoot off down to the um, the shipping office and when I got down yeah. there, what was his name, the shipping fella? Oh, yeah. John, John. Yeah, I forget his name. Yeah. Now. I should remember him, yeah. Nice bloke he was too. Yeah. As soon as I walked in the door, he'd be shaking his head. He'd say, sorry, yeah. Laurie, they've just rang up. No. Yeah. But they'd be telling Laurie one thing and yeah. telling him another. Yeah. And this went on for months. And in the end, yeah. Laurie got me away. Yeah. yeah. And he got me on the dredge. Yeah. So that was a start you, you on the dredge. You should just uh, quantify one thing, I suppose, is when you said you, you, you got in touch with Laurie, you drove me mad until you got away to see. I did, yeah. <laughs> That's right. And I think it was a little bit of hinting from the, you know, the uh, the peanut gallery down there. Ring him up again, well, see what he's got to say. <laughs> Ring him up again, well, see what he's got to say. Yeah. But in them days, too, you had to sit before a, yeah. a, a like a, a board thing there, you know. There was some yeah. um, shipping owners as well as the union. Yeah. And they'd be firing questions at you and everything like that. Yeah. And um, a guy that went in before me, he came from England. Yeah. And he'd been a cook and, and a steward and everything. Yeah. And I thought, oh, well, he's going to get away before me. Yeah. And, and they said, oh, no, you never know. And I said, well, um, you haven't got a woman out of Newcastle. Yeah. So I said, make me the first. Yeah. Well, they passed me and everything like that. But then Canberra would, yeah. yeah, you know. So, yeah. And on the uh, dredging that was, what were the hours of work and you leaving that like on there? Can you remember? Yeah. Yeah. I used to do... Um, Five weeks on and five weeks off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How many hour days? Oh, normal. You know, um, 12 hours. Yeah. 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 Right. But that was um, not just cooking on there. You yeah. did your cooking. But also had to, the chief steward, the chief cook, he did the, the linen, you know. Yeah. had to do all the linen and things like that. Then the second cook had to clean fridges and things and you yeah. got paid extra for this oh yeah, yeah. you got paid extra yeah. then on top of your wages yeah. you get paid for cleaning your cool rooms yeah he the cheap cook would get paid for doing the linen yeah and you get paid for remote areas like yeah. down to port headland yeah. and places like that you got paid extra yeah. Yeah. so that was good money on there well, i had to pay to go to port Hedland. all the ships i went they say oh no you want to go to port Hedland, you better <laughs> 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 matter of fact it was leaving port Hedland one night that uh my infamous pub I found out that was closing down. I was boasting on it, on the Iron Bogong, and as I walked down after Colin Palmer said, Ah, Finchie, where are you going to live now in Newcastle? I said, Why, Colin? He said, Your pub's just closed down. Yeah. I said, what do you mean, Scott? He said, Turn the radio on. 
<laughs> Riots in Newcastle. Oh, yeah. Laurie's just been thrown out of work. They've closed the pub down. Yeah. <laughs> Things never settled much after no. that. So, um, no. you know, just from one pub to the other. And, yeah. Yeah, so that's when I decided to go to sea. And, and what sort of uh, duties did you have, you know? And, and as you rose... Like in later years, as you went to see further on, how did they change your your, your uh, work duties? And oh yeah, well when I started, I was second cook. Yeah, I had to peel spuds and everything, which a job I hated. Yeah, peeling spuds. I always said I can't wait to be a chief cook. I don't have to do spuds. Yeah. Well, the time I become a chief cook, they take the second <laughs> cook away, and I still had to do the spuds. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. a job I didn't like peeling yeah. the spuds. Yeah, but. The second cook did most of the cleaning up, did yeah. this, the vegetables, did the the salads, you know, and sort of was a dog's body for the chief cook. Yeah. yeah. But then after that, yeah. they, by the time I come chief cook, they'd taken the second cook away. Yeah. So you had it all on your own. Yeah. And if you had a good uh, chief steward, of course, he'd come in and, and give you yeah. a hand. Yeah. 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 At the beginning, it was pretty hard to get the chief steward to come in and give you a hand, but... Yeah. As time went on, yeah. well, it was just a, an accepted thing that they did the, the yeah. salads. Yeah. Now, and they give you a hand. Yeah, mm. that's right. Now, this is probably going to sound a silly question for you being a cook, but on the, the jobs you were on, what was the food like? And I mean it by um, a lot of ships I was on, the, the uh, providors tried to send second-hand stuff down and the cooks would refuse to take it. Yes, yeah, right. And a lot of them. Particularly yeah. in Port Kembla with yeah. that... Um, Oh, what was the name of that provador down in Port Kembla? He's been there for many, many years. Yeah, I can't remember. It was a lot of years since I was out of Kembla. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh hell, I can't even remember. Anyhow, yeah. um, lots of times I had to send stuff back. Yeah. It, it arrived rotten. Yeah. You know, yeah. like uh, strawberries, punnet strawberries. Yeah. You'd pick them up, and they were just leaking. You know, yeah. because they were all rotten and yeah. and and things like that. Yeah. Um, I, I believe the guy that worked down there that was on the wharf, what was his name, that handled all that, I think he might have got a kickback. Yeah, you know? yeah, he probably did, yeah. Yeah, well, the word yeah. was that he did because he used to go to the races a lot. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, He got yeah. a kickback from that. But anyhow, we, we didn't have to have second goods because he wanted to go to the races. Yeah, you know? no, that's right, mate, mm. that's right. And in the way of uh, safety gear um, and working gear and that weather gear and tools, what, what did the employer provide you with? Oh, I got I got my shoes. Yeah. I got me um, I got steel tip shoes, which I didn't wear in the galley because I I just couldn't get around with them. Yeah. And um, so I, we wore joggers, which we bought our own yeah. joggers. Yeah. But. Our cook's pants yeah. and, and things like that, yeah. I used to I used to do my own aprons yeah. and things like that in the beginning, but in the end, um, everything changed and I got all yeah. that. Yeah. Did they supply your knives and that, or did you have to supply your own? No, I, no, I supplied my own knives. Yeah, mm. yeah. 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 Because uh, then you could buy what you wanted. Yeah, well, know? that's true, mate. That's Not true. cheap stuff, you yeah. know. And after the dredge and that, what other different types of ships did you, uh, did you oh. join there? After the dredge was the Iron Cartman Terrier. Yeah. I was on her three times in oh. my seagoing life, and the Iron Cartman Terrier. She? she was a coal ship, yeah. iron ore, yeah. yeah. Bulky, yeah. Yeah, big bulky. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Iron Prince. Yeah. Loved that ship. The Iron yeah. Prince loved it. Broke my heart when they got, got rid, rid of, of it. There, I was yeah. on it when they got rid of it, yeah. 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 You're also on another ship that used to run into Western Port, you bitch, and you never used to come and see me. Oh, the, um, on Monarch. Yeah. Yeah. Used to run, used to type about 15 minutes, 20 minutes from my place. Oh, well, I didn't know that I at the time. I didn't know that at the time. At the time, I didn't know <laughs> well, that you know either. now, why didn't you Yeah, know I'm not on it anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, that's the Iron Stir. Oh, the Iron Stir. I did yeah. time on that. Yeah. I did a trip on the on the Iron Pre on the Iron um, Spencer. Yeah. I'd never been overseas, right? Yeah. Always coastal. So um, got the Iron Spencer, picked that up, yeah. and um, went from here. We're heading to Japan. Yeah. So we get up the coast, been diverted back to. Um, what was that island? Hay hey Point or something? No, no, that island over, over up the top of Aussie over there on the other side. Um, mm -hmm. Cockatoo, Curlin? 
Yeah. Yeah, be sound. Yeah. Yeah, one yeah. of those were being diverted there. Yeah. And I said, oh, right, I've never been to Japan or anywhere. Yeah. And I was really upset because yeah. I thought I was doing Japan. Yeah. Didn't go there. I was with yeah. Garth Nanties and he was yeah. going to... Yeah. He was going to take me up the road and show yeah. me all the apple blossoms and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. But anyhow, um, so then when we got to this island, we were been diverted back to Port Hedland. Yeah. So we went to Port Hedland and back to Newcastle, and that was my <laughs> extent on the Iron Prince, on the yeah. Iron Spencer, oh, rather, yeah. around Aussie. Yeah. yeah. So I never got to Japan, and yeah, I still right. haven't been to Japan. You're not missing much, mate, believe me. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I was on coastal, mostly coastal. I don't know why, but when the when the pickup was on, and I used yeah. to go up to the pickup, yeah. um, I always say with this other cook, poor bloke, he's dead now, but he liked to drink, yeah. and he'd always turn up at the, the pickup, and he, yeah. he was hungover. Yeah. So he'd say to me, "Oh, I'm not ready to take a job today, Laurie." He said, "You can have the next yeah. one that comes up." So then. Uh, the Iron Camber, I think, come up yeah. going to Korea or something like that. And I thought, oh, beauty, I haven't been to Camber, yeah. to Korea. And he goes, I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah. And I said, but you told me that I could yeah. have it. And he yeah. said, Korea's not a place for you. He said, it's a, <laughs> a man's place. So he did that to me twice, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Twice he did that to me. Yeah. And and I thought, oh, I never get overseas. Yeah. So anyhow, um, then I was still on coast all right yeah. up until I picked up the Iron Yandy. Yeah. And and um oh no. I went to um Vietnam on the on the Prince, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Went to Vietnam on the Prince. Then the I Yandy yeah. and that went to Mexico yeah. and Peru yeah, sure. and yeah. I did Korea and yeah. I did Thai Taiwan. Yeah. And I thought, Oh, this is wonderful and that's when just getting to do some over trees seas trips yeah. which I loved, I love deep sea. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. And um, it's when the doctor put me out. So I said, yeah. well, that's the NMIC going live. And I just started to, to yeah. see a bit of the world. Because yeah. I, yeah. I sort of know the Aussie coast pretty well now with yeah. all them, yeah. them yeah. coastal ships. Yeah. But they were fun. They were yeah. good places. And, they were nice places. And how did you find being a female in a mainly male uh, dominated bloody work scene where you you know you couldn't just walk ashore to get with other females? How did you find that? I got on well with them. Yeah. Yeah, I got on well with them. Yeah, you... Um, the only reason you're not going to get along well with them is if you, you, you know, like I was one of the boys, yeah. and and I never put out for anyone or yeah. Or anything yeah like so that. you knew semen from well before. And you I went knew to see him, anyway. yeah. 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 And, and working in pubs and yeah. everything gave me a bit of an insight yeah. on, you know, how you wanted to be treated yeah. and, and things yeah, like that. Right. So, yeah. you know, it, yeah. and I got along well. I got I got along really well, and I made some really top friends. God, yeah. oh, good friends. People that I'll never ever forget in the rest of my life, and will be friends yes. with them for the rest of my life, you know. Oh, you. So, I thought at one stage you might have forgot me by now. <laughs> <laughs> I went to your wedding. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that was a long time the, ago. This gets us to 27 years ago this year, mate. Is it really? Yeah. This gets me. us to the next question, Loz. Tell us about some of the characters you've met over the years. And before we get to much further, we should rem- oh, I was going to tell you a minute ago, and I forgot that Steve the Verdict died about uh, six months ago. Yeah, I heard yeah, that. You did, did you? Yeah, yeah I heard Massive that. Massive heart and attack. D- Dave Lawrence died too, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be mm. bugged, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so some of the characters you've met, mate, oh, over the years. Oh, dear. You? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, they were funny days yeah. way back in the Star Hotel day. Yeah. Oh, Johnny Porter. Remember Johnny Peaches, Porter? Yeah. JP. And Squizzer. Yeah. Squizzer. Oh. I haven't uh, thought of Squizzer Tail for bloody years, yeah. I wonder uh, where he is. He's in um, the Philippines, I believe. Is he? Yeah, Mary, I'll be yeah, bugging, in the yeah. Philippines. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the, the Duke boys, little Duke. And, yeah, and big Duke. Duke. Oh, yeah. they going back away. Hey, yeah. Yeah. and um, who else? Filthy Fred and, yeah. and and all them. Oh, they were good old days, eh? Yeah. They? they were the good old days, yeah. yeah. But um, oh no, I made some top friends in the later years too. You yeah. know, yeah. I saw with the man um, John Dunn, JD, yeah. we call him. He's he's really getting ready to retire now too. I think mm. he's been going to sea since he was about fourteen years of age, and he's now sixty. Yeah. 60, whatever, 7, something like that, yeah. tall, um, thin, sprightly man, you know, yeah. still outwork some of the younger blokes, still yeah. outwork some of the younger blokes, but um, he, he, he talks a lot and, and people don't like that, a lot of people don't like that, but 
I, I, I liked him. I could get yeah. along with him well. He had a lot of, uh, you know, sensible things to talk about yeah. and things like that. Yeah, and, and he's one I'm working with now. Well, yeah. have worked yeah. with. He's still on the same ship, yeah. but he keeps in touch. Him and his wife keep in touch. Yeah, right. Um, oh, Eddie, Eddie, um, Eddie, I've got his name here, Eddie, it's yeah. a P. He's my dear friend, and I can yeah. never remember the second name because <laughs> it's a P. There it is. Pilsen, that's yeah. right, Eddie Pilsen. He's a, a Canadian, yeah. American Canadian black, yeah. yeah. And um, I, I sailed with him, yeah, a couple of times. And, and yeah. he married a, a Vietnamese girl. He was on the Prince with us. I met a, a girl in Vietnam. Yeah. So uh, myself and, um, and the bosun of the Prince, yeah. Trevor Moore, we went over to the wedding. Yeah. And that was my first trip overseas ever away, yeah, not right. on the ship, yeah. 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 And I've got the travel bug now, I'm going to do all that, yeah. <laughs> and um, he yeah. married that girl, yeah, but he used to tell me, come home off, before he met the girl, yeah. and he come back off leave, he, he had a big four-wheel drive, and he'd travel Australia, and he'd go yeah. out in the outback, and he'd camp out in the desert, and things yeah. like that. He knew more about Australia than what I do when I live here. Yeah, yeah. You know, born yeah. and bred. Yeah, it's ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? Oh, yeah. he was a nice bloke, and, and yeah. I keep in touch with them today, yeah. yeah. Him and his wife and the kids and that, they come and stay here and... Yeah. 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 In, in your time, so you would have experienced, I suppose, some highs and some lows, some good times, bad times? Oh, yes. Yeah. And you stick out, what are the, the good times that stick out? Mostly all of them are good times. What about the lows? Oh, I had a, a big low right at the end of my, my career, a mm. big low. It hurt very much, hurt very much. Um, I worked with a guy and I worked with him on three ships. And we were, oh, top buddies, him and his wife, and that used to come in. We were mm. real good mates. And, and, and I loved him like a brother, you yeah. know. He's like a brother to me, you know. And he didn't like deep sea. Yeah. He used to go to pieces, deep sea. He liked coastal, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we went from here to um, Mexico, and, and, yeah. and he started screaming at me and carrying on because... The chief engineer said something to him, so he came in screaming at me, and yeah. oh, he went right off the deep end, you know. And he yeah. did it a couple of times, and in the end, we sort of fell out. Yeah. And it hurt. Yeah. Really, really hurt. So really that's hurt. the only one in the in oh, your time that, at three, or that that and um, oh, earlier on when I was yeah. on the um, oh, what's that um cement ship that I was on the. I don't know. Well, we're on the Goliath. The Goliath, Goliath yeah. Goliath, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was a couple of idiots on there. Yeah. A couple of young idiots, oh, you, and they were a couple of young everywhere. idiots. Yeah. And, and we all got the road for a drink, yeah. and then we'd come back, and little Paddy was on there. Paddy, um, oh, the little puffy guy, little oh, tiny. Yeah. Paddy. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I think yeah. he's dead now, but they used to give him a yeah. hard time, you know. And, and I stuck up for him one yeah. night, so they said, oh, what are you, a lesbian, you know, yeah. and all that, because I stuck up for the dear little fella. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so um, then because you're sitting there having a drink and when it's time to go to bed, one yeah. started to follow me up the stairs and oh, I where yeah, do you think yeah. you're going, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I said, no, you go to your cabin that yeah. way. So me and him had a bit of a fall in yeah. Yeah, so. But you have to pull him in the line, you know? Yeah, that's right, mate, yeah. that's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah but anyhow, and, and that's only about, only two that I've ever had. There would have been one load that just before you went to sea, I suppose, it's when they close the star on you, darling. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it because that was my life. I lived there. That's I right. worked there for yeah. many years. I was there with three publicans. Yeah. 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 And and Donny Gray more or less gave me the uh, a free yeah. rein to get the front bar going. Yeah. And um, well, then it took over, didn't it? it took over the whole of the pub. Yeah, did it work? Yeah. Yeah. That was a late bar, but only so. I still remember the first day. <laughs> the first day, and 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 I tell you, lot, you were one of them coming with. Uh, life boys and things to put in there the very first day and I made a hundred dollars on the yeah. first day that was just a pink elephant that bar yeah. if if you, someone walked in up the street and you happen yeah. to look out from the the um, other bar to see yeah. that there was someone there you'd go and serve them yeah. or else people would sit out there and you wouldn't know they were there yeah. you know so on the first day I made a hundred dollars in that bar and yeah. oh I was jumping up and down oh, I thought it was wonderful and yeah. never looked back never looked back yeah. Remember the day the hatchboard come flying yep. through the front door? <laughs> the day I brought the hatchboard in? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Wyndham. 
Yeah, Lawrence yeah. Lighthouse Bar. Remember, yeah. they had Lighthouse. all them ships yeah. all around painted. They were painted yeah. there, and there, and then Donnie Graham put the lighthouse and yeah. and, and Lawrence Lighthouse Bar, and it never looked back. It became yeah. worldwide known That's that right. bar. That's right. Yeah, worldwide known. Yeah. So that was a proud venture, that was, yeah. Yeah. And I, that's when I got to know Seaman and, and um, you know, like, and, and I got to know a lot of the, their causes that they yeah. fought for and things yeah. like that because I did go on marches with them yeah. in them days. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. I went marches with them in them days. Yeah, I remember you used to march me over to the bloody workers' club to have a feed. Come on, you prick, you haven't had a, haven't had a feed for a couple of days, you better yeah. come. Oh, well, yeah. you have to look get up, across here. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, in your time, see, have you ever any hits or near misses? You know, like you ever been in bad weather or. Yeah. You know, like that, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really bad weather. One day, one time there, we left. Um, Thebanard going over to um, New Zealand. Yeah. And when we come down around the bottom of Aussie, the weather was that bad, we couldn't turn to go up, so we had to go down. Yeah. And exactly the same time, it must have been a, a bad weather all around because we went, we got to um, Mount Monganui yeah. eventually, and um, then when we were leaving there, the weather come up. Yeah. And we couldn't turn to go up, so we had to go straight out to the ocean there again. And um, coming back from there that time, we come so far out of the water, the propellers just stop. Yeah. Yeah, and the chief engineer said in all the years, uh, being at sea, he'd been at sea 40 years or something, he'd never seen anything like that happen. Yeah. Because the, the propellers stopped, yeah. so therefore the lights, everything went out. It was yeah. dark, yeah. it was black. Yeah. I think it might have been the same time we were on anchor off um, Littleton. Yeah. And it was bad weather, and they started pulling. What was it they pulled out in the engine room when you on anchor? Do uh -oh. the um? Did they pull a piston or something? Or pull a pull a unit? It's something they were doing something unit, down there yeah. anyhow. Anyhow, so that the um, anchor started to drag. Yeah. And and all the other ships are getting down the road, and we yeah. nearly hit one, yeah. and we're heading for the rocks, you know. And they're trying yeah. to get the bloody thing back together. They got it back together, yeah. um, just so then. For days we just had to steam up and down because it was yeah, just right. such bad weather. So that was a near miss. Yeah. Oh, another one here off um, Swansea Heads on the Iron uh, Iron Yandy. Yeah. Bad weather. We started heading in towards Swansea Heads, and it was only somebody because a lot of seamen lived down around that area yeah. and on Caves Beach and everything like that, and they've rang the. Um, the, um, what do you call them? Harbour Control. Yeah, down there, and, and said the ship was awfully close, so they rang up the ship, say, and everybody starts running because the damn thing was heading yeah. for sure. Shit. You know? Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a close one too. Oh, yeah. and another one coming out of Taiwan. Oh, that close. Another ship, we're coming out that way. You know Taiwan? Yeah. How, how, um, um, Kegelung or Kaohsiung? Kaohsiung. Yeah. How you've got two entrances. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're bigger and we come out that entrance yeah. and another little ship come out that entrance and yeah. it's coming across like that. Yeah. And and it was just as well, it was only yeah. a tiny little thing, but it just went like that. Yeah. That far, I tell you. I've seen yeah. it with my own eyes yeah. and I thought, here we go. Because yeah. nobody wanted to, nobody wanted to do anything about it because we got the right away or yeah. something like that. Yeah. We're in the right and all the rest of it. Yeah. You know, instead of trying to, to do something, yeah. whether you got right away or not, and you could see what's going to happen, yeah. I think you'd, you, yeah, well, you'd, if I was up there, I'd take, say, well, I'm going to move out of the road here. You take all, all uh, action to avoid anything. But nobody yeah. did anything, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah, at last time I was in Kaohsiung, we left the Australian Explorer there, took it to the breakers. Yeah? In 1987, I think it was, 86, 87. Yeah. Yeah. Nice place, I like that. Yeah, yeah I didn't mind Kaohsiung, but it was a sad day, the day we left to go to the breakers. Something I never want to do again is take a ship to the breakers. Yeah. Um, what did the, the Seaman Union in Australia mean to you, Loz? And how did it influence the life on board the ship and the welfare of Seamen and that? Oh, well, they did a lot, didn't they? I mean, mm. that, without the Union, we were pretty buggered, weren't we? No. I mean, um, you need the Union, and, and, and it was it's a good Union, it's a strong yeah. Union. One of the strongest in the world, isn't it? The yeah. Australian Seamen's Union. Yeah. Um, 
and, and I'm born, <laughs> as you said today, like I was talking to you today, about the young ones coming on and, yeah. and saying oh, thank you to the, the um, shipping companies for the lovely um, cabins and, yeah. and the living quarters and, and everything. But as you said, the, the um, company never give them that. It was mm. the, the seamen, the older seamen before us, mm. you one of them, and that, that um, fought to get our conditions, yeah. which yeah. we are slowly losing now. That's right, mate. That's right. That's we are slowly losing yeah. all conditions. Because yeah. I tell you what, the younger people coming along don't have the same uh, feeling about unions mm. as what we do. Yeah. They a lot of them don't know anything about the sea. Yeah. Um, a lot of like you come up, your father, your grandfather, everybody's been to sea. Your brothers and it's yeah. been to sea. So you all know something about it before you go there. I knew something about it before I went there. Yeah, yeah you know. That's true. But a lot of people are coming on now. They don't even yeah. know anything about unions. And they don't have to fight and, for nothing. And and they don't go to the, the meetings. They don't yeah. go to the meetings, um, and things like that. And they don't know what's going yeah. on. Like I still remember the day I was on the Iron Prince, and there was a couple of young blokes there from Newcastle, and they were surfies, and you never seen them at a meeting. And I said to them one day about. Leave your surfboard at home one day and get yourself down to a meeting. Mm. Well, I was told I was out of order for yeah. saying that to them, you know. You were kidding. No, yeah, well, I was told I was out of order. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I said, you can leave your surfboard at home one day and go to the bloody stop work meeting. You know what's yeah. going on, you know. And um, I was told I was out of order. Yeah. yeah I was Christ. saying that to them. I wish the crowd thought of Because I yeah. noticed yeah. in the years of me going to, this, yeah. to the meetings... Now, I went, yeah. to, I went to all my stop work meetings yeah. and the only reason I didn't, if I didn't go to one, I yeah. wasn't here or something unforeseen had happened that you couldn't go, yeah. right? And um, you never see the young ones at the meetings. Yeah. But I've, I've noticed in the years you've had big crowds and how it's dwindling down yeah. now, half the time you don't even get a quorum. That's right. It's the you same know? down in Melbourne, mate. And, yeah. and it's so sad, yeah. you know? Yeah. It is. It's so sad that that should happen. Yeah, well, that was one of the questions, but you've already answered it. Oh, yeah. like so, we get more yeah. people at the um, the vets, the vets now. Yeah. you know, yeah, you get more yeah. people at that, and what they do at a yeah. stop work meeting, and the vets are putting in a lot to to help these young yeah. people and 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 that, you know, it, um, I yeah. don't know. We've got to do something to get the younger ones yeah, more that's... interested, but I don't know what to do there. That's true, mate. So. Uh, on the time, see, so you, you would have had a couple of disputes somewhere along the line, either shipboard or uh, ashore wise. Any of them yeah. sticking in your mind? Yeah, the Iron Carpenteria. Yeah. Um, when they were selling that, uh, we fought for them not to sell it, and, and it was here in Newcastle, so we, we stuck it up, yeah. and we were promised um, that there'll be another ship uh, come yeah. out in its place, yeah. and that was the only reason that we let it go that day yeah. because of the promise. Well, the promise never come around, did it? Yeah. I mean, we did receive a, a little payout from that um, because they, they didn't get us another ship when we promised. Mm. Um, it all depended on your times, years of service and all the rest of yeah. it. But, um, yeah, got a little payout, but that we didn't want that payout. We wanted another ship. Another ship, yeah, that's right. You yeah. know, because that little payout don't last long. No, that's right. You know, yeah, that's true, mate. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, I I wasn't real fast on and the TK yeah. shipping is a big difference to BHP. Everybody yeah. used to run BHP down, but I tell you what, you knew where you stood with them. Yeah, yeah. And and you could, they never made mistakes with your wages and things like that. Everything yeah. was spot on, you know, BHP, but. Um, this TK shipping was completely different unit yeah. again, you know. Yeah, well, that's what uh, Gus, my brother, Dennis, works for now. Yeah. He's on the Palmerston. Yeah, well, I, was, I, did, I did a swing on there yeah. because I owed time yeah. uh, for when I was off on compo. Yeah. And my compo had finished, and by the time I had come back, yeah. it wasn't my swing. Yeah. And, and so I couldn't go back. So um, I owed them time. So they, I come home on leave and... Yeah. Um, they rang me up and said, would I go on that for the dry docking in, oh, yeah. in Singers? Yeah. Which I said, yes, please. Oh, that's right. You did the dry docking with Dennis. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. Singapore. Yeah. Yeah, except love it. Well, I I had a wonderful time up there. Seven weeks in Singapore. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I know Singapore like the back of my hand. I love the place. Did you get out to um, uh, the island, Sentosa Island? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good place. Yeah, always go there. Did you go out on the cable car? 
Not this time, no, but I but have, have been, been on it. Yeah. 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 That's good, that. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. I, I go to, um, I, I, I went to uh, the zoo and the night mm. zoo, and I go to them all the time. Um, I go to Was Newton Geron Circus still going, was it? Yeah. 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 I go to Jerome Park, you know, yeah. with the um, the bird yeah, sanctuary yeah, exactly. there. That's yeah, yeah. beautiful, I know. Yeah. Oh, because I went there before, and um, they've really built onto it now yeah. and everything, and the zoo and everything. They've done a lot with that as yeah. well. Um, you know that cable car it got brought down years ago, don't you? Yeah. Oil rig was travelling underneath it. Yeah. I yeah, because it, it made it higher. Yeah. Mm. Well, I went out across it once and went across the aisle on it, and I. Had my video camera just like that, and as it went out over, because it's a sheer drop as you go out over yeah, the mountain. Yeah. And I showed it to Jenny uh, when we got home, and she, she hates heights, and she just broke out and sweats. The minute she sees oh, it, she just brilliant. runs. It's she, a yeah. brilliant run on that. Yeah. yeah, really yeah, nice. Cool. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the um, the dancing water over there at night time? No. Nah, nah, oh. No, nah, this was in 90, 94, I think. Probably the second dry dock and the, the Osco done up, we'd picked her up. Well, the first dry dock, yeah, she'd well, they done got up, it we'd there. picked her up. Yeah, got it there. No. Seven o'clock at night, uh, up past seven Jeez, at night. Jesus, well, I was during that time, I was generally pissed in town by then. Yeah, I know, but um, <laughs> every night, every yeah. night, there's two shows. I think it's up past seven and up past eight, or seven and eight, something like that. And it's a big pond there, yeah. you know, and, and the water dances to the music. Oh, it's all yeah. done by a computer, yeah. and they have a, a laser screen in it yeah. and everything like that. Nah. It's absolutely out of this world. Never absolutely. Oh, okay. I bought a, um, the first time I seen it, I went and bought a, a video yeah. in um, Lucky Plaza. I oh, bought yeah. it. No, I bought it at... Chinatown? No. People's Park. Yeah. People's Park. Which I bought it at People's yeah. Park, yeah. yeah. And and I, I got it. They were a thousand odd dollars here yeah. and I got it for four hundred yeah. at that time. And it's outdated, well outdated yeah. now. But anyhow, um, I, I bought that to go and watch the water because I was yeah. flying out the next day. Yeah. And I got the thing going and all of a sudden the, the light's going on. I said, what's going on here? And they said, oh, you didn't um, charge your battery. Yeah. They said, you're supposed to charge your battery. I said, nobody told me. So <laughs> I didn't get it. No, I was on my way to Vietnam, oh, well, so I, yeah. and, and we were flying from yeah. Vietnam straight home. Yeah. And I said, sorry, I've got to stop yeah. off at Singapore, I've yeah. got to get that water. Yeah. You know, so I had to stop off and go and get that water. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, mm. absolutely out of this world. Yeah. yeah. The uh, retirement fund was. What sort yeah. of effect has that had on you? Well, good effect, I tell you what. Mad Dog told me when, when he retired, yeah. uh, he said, take the... Um, Go into it, but also the so voluntary. Put, put as much as you can, yeah. He said, go the voluntary too, because he said yeah. a guy that joined the same as him yeah. went the voluntary, and he didn't. Yeah. And he ended up with, oh, another half again more than yeah. what a mad dog did. Yeah. So I did that. I did that. Yeah. And um, I, uh, I've done some renovations. Not, there was a bedroom yeah. there. I knocked that all out. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and done a few bit of work around, put yeah. a new gas oven stove in there. Yeah, I was going to oh. say you, you'd done something different to the last time I seen oh, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, opened this up, put beautiful doors on yeah. over there, you know, and um, bought computers, I bought a new car, yeah. I got a, a motor home, yeah. all this out of that. I wouldn't have, yeah. if I didn't have it, I wouldn't yeah. have been able to do that. No, that's right, mate. That's Plus, good. I've got a little bit left. Not yeah. a lot, but yeah. a little bit left. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, that's good, mate. That's so, good. I said, I'm, yeah. I'm happy now. I've got my house set, yeah. ready, so that when I haven't got all that much money and I can't do anything, yeah. I'm comfortable here. Yeah, that's right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I've got a car. Yeah. And I can sell my motor home and get some money out yeah. of that. <laughs> and then you can get what you well deserve anyway as a pension out of these rotten, thieving bastards. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. 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 But, um, yeah. Yeah. I don't believe that very much in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How uh, did going to sea affect your family life? Oh, didn't really. Yeah. Um, because I wasn't married. Yeah. I was single. I, I would come and, and went yeah. as I please. My daughter didn't live with me. She had yeah. a unit, you know, a flat out by herself. Yeah. Um, and you only see them when they want something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mummy again, what do you got? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so, no, I, I was fine, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, in the end there, 
it sort of upset me a bit because yeah. I was never here for deaths or weddings. Yeah, yeah. Somebody ought to always decided to die when I wasn't here yeah, or to get yeah. married when I wasn't here. Well, I got married when you was around the place. Wasn't I know. It? But you was working ashore then anyway. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was. That was before I went to sea. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, so that's the only thing that, that happened there, yeah. you know. But me, I was pretty lucky. Yeah, yeah. So, so what was your last ship, mate? On Yandy. And uh, when did you retire? It was at May last year. In May last year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a forced retirement. Yeah. And so I'd what still you, be there if I wasn't forced. What do you do now, mate? Are you active still around the union wise in the vets? Yeah, club? I'm in the vets club. Yeah. I didn't go the last one because I was weighing my motor home. Yeah, yeah, right. But yeah. Um, when I'm home, I do yeah. go. Yeah. 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 And, and um, what do you think in the industry today? Well, it's not the same. No, that's right. It's not the same. There's too many changes. Mm. And it, it's not changes for your benefit. Mm. It's changes for the shipping company's that's benefits. That's right, yeah. You know, there's no more benefits for you, you know. I mean, um, no. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if... I don't think I'd, I'd want to go away to sea now. Mm. I mean, if I was still there, I'd be I'd be all right. But yeah. for the sort to start up and go to sea now... Yeah. It's not the same, and and yeah. a lot of the older blokes, the good old blokes, that that, that they're all retiring yeah. and all, they're all the yeah you know the characters and yeah, things well, like right. that. Yeah, they're all, all going, yeah. they're all going, you know. And yeah. I still remember Laurie Steen said to me when I first went away to sea. He said, um, "Now he said, I know you like a drink. He said, but I don't want any trouble on the ship. I want you to behave yourself and everything." So I did six months on that iron. Carpenteria and never had a drink yeah. because Laurie Seen told me to behave myself, yeah. and I thought, now if I if I play up, it, it's him that I'm going to upset, you know. Yeah. And I didn't want to do that, yeah. so I used to go up after tea every night and sit in the bar and I'd have a ginger beer. Yeah. And there was a guy by the name of Snapper. Yeah. He retired not long after. Now that man could tell you a story. Well, I'd, I'd laughed till I cried. Yeah. And I thought, I wish I could remember him because you could have written a book. That's right, yeah. Because they're all true stories. Yeah. All true stories. Yeah. yeah. Well, and what? even right up until yeah. now, um, a couple of older mates and yeah. things like that that have, have, yeah. were around in them days. The things that they got up there yeah. too. I mean, we always thought that they never had any heart, these mates yeah, and things yeah. like that, you know. Yeah. But some of them have. Yeah. You know, and some of them are good blokes. Yeah. And um, this old bloke, he, he was telling me things that happened yeah. to him, you know, and, yeah. and you'd laugh and have a good old time. I thought, jeez, I yeah. wish I could remember some of them stories. Well, that, that's yeah. one of the reasons why we're doing this, because we're losing our history. It's you history are, that's been, yeah. are losing the history. Yeah. And yeah. That, that's, so that's one of the reasons we're doing these DVDs, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I, told, I told you my young... That was going to see now, didn't I? Yeah. It's on the lady, yeah. he's on the lady Christine, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Have you how many? How many is that now in your? It's the fifth generation. Fifth generation, isn't yeah. that wonderful? Yeah. And could be a sixth generation because my grandson, who was six, I was talking to him there about a year ago, and just jokingly said, "What are you going to do uh, when Pa dies, mate?" And he said, "Take your job on the tugs." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and have your job on the tugs, Pa. Yeah. yeah right, mate. Yeah. yeah. So, Loz, you got anything else you'd like to, to add to this? Um, I could sit and talk all day. Yeah, you know? I know that, Laurie. Once you, once you I, start I haven't getting... known you for, what, 30 <laughs> how many years? <laughs> once you start getting yeah. into oh, it... Oh, shit, no, more than nearly 40 years yeah, I've known you for, yeah. yeah. But once you start getting into talking yeah. about it and everything like that, I could go on for hours and hours and yeah. hours. But um, that tape only goes for so long. <laughs> oh, we've still got another six and a half hours left on it. Have you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, now that you ask, yeah. see, when you say what have you got to say, you think, oh, I can't think of anything. Oh, I can't oh, think geez, of anything. Oh, that'd be a first but, for you, Loza. But then you sit there and think, oh, I can say this and I can yeah. say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I had some good times. Um, on all the ships I've been on. Cast your mind back a little bit before you went to, to sea and that. I remember... Uh, being in the star one day and there was a which could have very well caused a major I don't know whether it would have been a diplomatic incident or not but uh, there was some pommy warships in here what flag did end up flying from the front of the star was cast your mind back 
It was a very special flag that ended up flying from the Pommy warships were out here. Yeah, yeah, and that no, that was would the key been, we Would it have been the Admiral's pennant, Laurie? Remember when one of the Pommy seamen knocked the Admiral's pennant off and put it up and it was flying from the front of the star? Yeah. Because I got the photo of that, eh? Have yeah. you really? Yeah. Oh. And there's our Loz's motor home, everybody. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> yeah, it's not, you can only see the top of Loz, so don't oh. worry about it. Yeah, it's, oh. yeah, that's Loz's pride and joy. It looks <laughs> alright, Loz, yeah. 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 yeah, so, but no, as said before, Loz, you know, you had, you got to know semen well before you even went to sea. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah there, there's, well, yeah, there's probably one thing, my missus already knows about this, so I can say this. When a few of the girls got a bit dirty in the Star Hotel on me one night, when when females weren't allowed back into BHP, yeah, and the girls called a meeting on me the next morning because well before I even met my wife, I got picked up by a stewardess and went back to BHP. Remember that? Yeah. And you just called a meeting because you couldn't go back with the bloody yeah. Hey? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you used to go up with Jenny in that time, didn't you? Yeah, that was well before I even yeah. met Jen. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> The good old days. Oh, the good old days. They yeah. were the good old yeah. days, I tell you. Yeah. That that was um I remember you had needed a a, a special ticket to get in a BHP. Yeah, that's pass. Right, yeah. You had to get in a pass. Yeah. But a lot of the girls used to get in boots and on the back of yeah, the seats and yeah. they covered up with a rug or something yeah. and everybody put their feet all over them to yeah. get him in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it yeah. was funny. Now you can't even get on the wharf at yeah, all. That's right. I was just showing Robin a while ago the card you've got to get in. I was telling her that down in Melbourne, this is how big a fast it is. I'd come to go out the, the turnstile gate the other day, only a week ago, and uh, or 10 days ago, and uh, it was only open in one way. It only opened in, it wouldn't open out. Yeah. So I just climbed the fence, and no one come anywhere near me, and I climbed the fence later on. And I was just saying that one of the uh, blokes at uh, Robin and Sable from the Valor, I think it might have been, he's one of our skippers down on the tugs now. Yeah. And a few months ago, his wife come down. She must have left the phone at home, something couldn't ring him. So uh, she climbed the fence. And went in and seen the tug wasn't there, so he climbed the fence to get back out. And that's how big a fast this bloody MI yeah. card is. This yeah, it security. is, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, you've all got to get um, checked out now by, by the, the by the coppers. Yeah. By the the uh, customs. By uh, there's about four or five different people that, that check you out to give yeah. you this maritime industry security card. Yeah. It's bad. Isn't it? It's a load of crap. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And um, when uh, where were we? Were it, Taiwan, yeah. and so we've got this little gate at the top of the the gangway now yeah. that's got to be unlocked, and, yeah. and there's a microphone there. You know, you got to call for the bloody yeah. the guy and watch. The guy and watch could be right up the other end of the ship doing yeah. things, you know, and he's got to come all the way up. So um, they climb over and everything, you know, yeah. they climb yeah. over, and and they're saying. Oh, bloody Yanks, you know, this has all come back with the yeah. Yanks. And then there's the Yanks started it yeah, all. The Yanks start crap, everything. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. It's a load of shit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Oh, so yeah, mate. You well, can't get on yeah. the wharf now. I could no more go on that wharf and go onto a ship than fly to the yeah. moon. Yeah. You know? Where, um, when I was on the ship, if yeah. I wanted my family or something to come down yeah. for lunch, we'd get the, the hire car to bring them to the... The yeah. ship, fine. They come yeah. to the ship, the high car, pick them up and take them off yeah. again. Yeah. You know, but you can't even get them on there. You've got to let them know a couple of days yeah. in advance, yeah. you know, that you want to bring someone down. Yeah. So me being a seaman and, and that well, ex-seaman, I can't get on the ship now. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. And yet yeah. the funny part about it is I went down to see uh, Dennis there a couple of months ago. The uh, Palmerston came into Holden Dock in Melbourne. Yeah. Um, before where I would have had to assign all this sort of red tape and that to get in, I just showed him the MZ card and let me straight through. Let you straight through, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got a, I got a, a form to fill in. Yeah. And I never bothered because I, you know, by that time yeah. I was retired. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and I thought, well, it's yeah. not much use to me filling this in. Yeah, that's so, right, yeah. But I didn't retire because I wanted to, I was a forced retirement. <laughs>